we drink gallons of this stuff as well. This is the second year Chenin Blanc. Um, it's, it's made in a totally different to, to, to any other Chenin. Huh? It's fermented in these concrete tanks. It's picked over 12 days or so. Um, and it's basically, the idea behind this wine was we had some wines left over that don't go into our family wines and we wanted to form the world's smallest co-op. So uh, it's the, these are our grapes and the, and the grapes are my neighbors and we just make one tank of Shannon, run about 12,000 bottles and the stuff is just delicious. Um, it's great, you know, if you're into that boring like food wine pairing crap, you know, you could sort of like pair it with a whole little dishes. But if you really um, like wine and you love wine, um, you'll appreciate this Shannon. It's totally different. It'll take you uh, somewhere else. It'll take you a lot further than uh, most other Shannons would. Um, the aromatics, you get a real sense of, of richness to the wine. Um, and if you know something about it, if you know where the, where the grapes are grown and if you've seen the bush vines where they stand, then you'll, you, 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 you suddenly begin to understand the wine and know exactly how it fits into place. Um, because it's about texture and weight. Um, it's got low acidity. You know, we don't add acid, so it's got low acidity. But it's, it's got low acidity, but it's still beautiful. Um, it, it, it coats the palate, and because it's grown in these um, magnificent granitic soils here, there's always an element of freshness to the wine. Even though the acidity is low and it might be quite ripe, there's a freshness to the wine, and it's just got a magnificent long aftertaste. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what we say about it. <laughs>